Hi everyone. For those people who are foolish enough to subscribe to this channel, you may have been wondering where I've been for the last six weeks. Uh, I haven't forgotten you. It's just that firstly I had a few technical issues with my camcorder and it had to go backwards and forwards to the factory. Then I promptly went away for three weeks uh, holidays in Russia and in China. Now I wasn't doing any metal detecting or anything like that over there because I'm not quite sure how they would look at metal detecting. I might end up getting arrested or something. So it was purely a vacation, nothing to do with metal detecting, no mudlarking, no relic hunting, just sunning myself and having a good time. Uh, but I'm here, I'm back with Vengeance. This location here, I was here about a year ago and I did some metal detecting and there was basically zero to be found. Although I did notice there were some broken bottles, bits of crockery, bits and pieces, and I thought I must come back one day and do some digging, and today is the day. So I'm here, I'm going to do some de uh, detecting. I'm going to do some metal detecting around the area firstly. I'm then going to uh, do some digging, and as soon as I can find exactly where this location was, I'll let you know. It was around here somewhere. Aha! Well, I've run the metal detector over the area. The only squeak I got was there, about six inches down, and I've marked it with this stick. I did find on the surface, however, a part of an aluminium tube, and, which is always a good thing to find, a bit of blue glass. So I might be onto something here. Only time will tell. Right, let's get digging. At first I thought this was a bit of brick, but gives off a signal. I wonder what's inside it. And more importantly, what was it? I've been digging here for about 20 minutes and I'm finding a lot of um, tiles, domestic tiles, some broken crockery, a bottle stop and a very curious blue plastic bead and a wooden thing, which I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm going to scrub it tonight. I wonder what that could have been. But the thing I have found which is interesting is this. It might be too big for an egg cup, but it's got King George the Fifth. Again, um, the royal family isn't one of my strong points, but I can get that dated tonight. So far, that's the best find. Now, what do you suppose that is? It doesn't want to come out, and it is broken. Oh, there we go. Oh, part of an inkwell. Well, another 20 odd minutes and I haven't found too much. Part of a leather shoe, um, bottle stop from World War II, bit of blue glass and bits of crockery and whatever. Um, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. So I might just move to another little area nearby and chance my luck there. I'm yet to find the wow find at this latest uh, hole, although I did find part of a very interesting button with a interesting kind of checkboard design on it. These are the things which I've found so far. A bit of material, blue glass, a bit of a very old um, light bulb, a knife and some crockery, and I've just uncovered this. A small blue and white marble. So maybe we're getting somewhere after all. I'm struggling at this side as well. Bits of crockery, but nothing intact. Although I did find this little thing, and I found one of these before. It's part of a, a paint set, which predates the Second World War. Well, when I came here, I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, I've been here for a little while now, and now I do know what to expect. Not much. This is the nearest I've come to finding a complete bottle. Brown, broken, and it does say not to be taken. So maybe it was rat poison or something, who knows. Anyway, not a great deal. I haven't given up yet, but it's just a lot of rubble, uh, broken crockery, but I'm going to keep digging. I may have to change my plan of action here because it's just not happening today. Nice bit of crockery with a nice blue pattern on it. Um, bottle stop and half a bottle. But really not much coming out of this hole apart from just broken crockery and bits of um, chicken bones actually. Hooray at last. A complete bottle and what could be a small um, test tube. Things have started to improve a little bit now. 
a very nice remains of a clay pipe. Now there's a pothole way, way, way at the bottom of this hole, and it appears to be either white or got something white in it. Let's see if we can dig that out. Well, this is the mysterious bottle. Um, it's had something white in it. It's not white glass of any sort. It's an interesting find all the same. I wonder what that was. Well, I think I hit the mother load, but not quite the mother load I was hoping for. Here, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bottle stops, World War II grade. I don't know where the bottles are, but there's plenty of bottle stops. That's a bit bizarre. Well, just as quickly as all the finds uh, appeared, they disappeared again, apart from one token bottle stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish for the evening, but I am going to go over the area here with the metal detector, just in case, and I'll let you know if I find something. Okay, I've gone over the entire area with the metal detector, and guess what? Not a peep, not a single squeak. Now that's uh, surprising considering the number of household items I've found, bits of crockery, bits of glass, plenty of bottle stops, not a single piece of metal, and I had the discrimination down to nothing. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. Sorry you had to wait six weeks for the next instalment, but I promise you won't be waiting six weeks for the next one. In fact, I've already got something planned. Um, about a month ago, I went exploring with my son, who's 13 years old, and he found a hole in a fence, and he says, Dad, let's go in that hole in the fence. And I said, there is no way I'm going in that hole in that fence. So we went through the hole in the fence, and I found, oh, sorry, he found a really interesting spot. So I'm looking forward to going there. I'm going to take you along, and uh, I'll hope to see you soon.